at the 2017 LA Auto Show, SUVs, Roadsters and some electrics. The 2018 Jeep Wrangler will make its major auto show debut in Los Angeles, but just how many versions will we see in LA? The LA Auto Show will take place a little later on the calendar than usual, running from December 1st through December 10th at the LA Convention Center. The change in schedule puts it just a month ahead of the Detroit Auto Show while also eliminating the overlap with Thanksgiving holidays and their inevitable travel nightmares, giving the show a little room to breathe. LA has become more tech-focused in recent years thanks to predictions of the impending autonomous future, along with threats to rethink or reinvent mobility by just about every major participant, fortunately. This year mostly will still showcase new cars you and number 39, LL actually be able to drive. Here in number 39, S an early look at the major debuts you can expect to see in a few short weeks. We and number 39, LL update this list as more confirmed LA Auto Show reveals trickle in, there will be more than a few major surprises this time around. You may feel like you and number 039, V already seen the i8 Roadster debut but it has yet to take place. Adding to the long list of CS BMWs, the 2018 BMW M3 CS is the first M3 sedan to get the legendary consonants tacked to its name. The M3 CS sheds some weight with carbon fiber reinforced plastic, CFRP. BMW, the Bavarians are expected to finally take the wraps off the i8 Roadster, a car that has been promised and teased so many times at N number 39. It's easy to forget that it still has an N number 39T debuted. The LA Auto Show is by far the best venue for this reveal, and not just because Detroit in January is not convertible friendly, the i8 desperately needs this version before it sits on the shelf any longer. Besides the i8 Roadster, expect to see the X7 concept make a US appearance after its debut in Frankfurt earlier this year, as well as the M3 CS. Infinity. Nissan and number 39's luxury arm has teased something that could turn out to be the replacement for the QX70, which was recently put out to pasture. Infinity showed a minimalist sketch that depicts what appears to be a crossover but released no other detail save from a promise that it will be the most advanced vehicle in the brand and number 39's history. We and number 39. LL be ready to learn a new alphanumeric badge on November 28 if the QX70 and number 39's replacement materializes. Infinity teased the new concept or production car with this minimalist sketch, suggesting a QX70 replacement. The same morning that the current Jeep JK1, yet again, the hottest SUV title at the SEMA show, the world finally got to see the coming JL in pretty much full detail. You might. Jeep, the 2018 Wrangler, bits and pieces of which have been trickling out for the past year and a half, will make its official debut in LA. This will be one of the headline debuts of the show, and the biggest question right now is how many body styles, engine variants Jeep will bring to LA, and whether we in number 39, LLC a hybrid version in December or some time later. With the Detroit show coming up, it makes sense that Jeep will want to space out the debuts of various Wrangler versions a bit, so Don and number 39T expect to see them all in LA. Land Rover, the company has indicated we and number 39, LLC plug-in hybrid versions of the Range Rover and Range Rover Sport before the end of the year, and the end of the year approacheth. The two FAV models are expected to make good on Land Rover and number 39. As promised to electrify its entire lineup before the decade is out. Mercedes Benz, we expect to see the all new third generation CLS class make its debut in the metal in LA, replacing a model that has been on sale for some time. The next gen CLS class is not expected to radically alter the E class four door coupe formula much. Beyond the CLS class, we may see another REC electric sub brand concept from Mercedes as we have at recent auto shows, but the bigger question with Mercedes and electrics is when we in number 39, LLC a production version of its first ever. Mini, the Anglo-Dramatic automaker will bring the Mini Electric to LA after it made its debut in Frankfurt earlier this fall, previewing the brand and number 39, 
as first mass market EV after a small scale experiment earlier in the decade. This model will be a big deal for Mini and for corporate parent BMW, which seeks to expand its eye division beyond the relatively small gas electric lineup that it has offered for a few years. Porsche, expect to see the 718 Cayman GTS and Boxster GTS debut in LA, with more powerful versions of the 2.5 liter turbocharged flat 4. The 2018 Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo will also make an appearance, showing off its long name as well as its 4.0-liter, twin-turbo V8 connected to a 136-horsepower, 295-pound-to-foot electric motor powered by a 14.1-kilowatt-hour hour liquid cooled lithium-ion battery. Volvo XC40 the XC40 is expected to make its first major auto show appearance in LA, a few weeks after Volvo took the wraps off its smallest SUV in Milan. The XC40 is expected to greatly expand Volvo and number 39's volume in the US, and it will arrive on the heels of several other major debuts for the Swedish automaker, whose SUV lineup has been completely revamped over the course of the last 24 months. With the XC40 Volvo achieved a rare feat because the crossover and number 39's look is the same as the day it was first drawn. We were convinced we had something in our hands with this car, Volvo. J. Ramey J. Ramey is an associate editor with Autoweek, and has been with the magazine since 2013. J. also likes to kayak and bike. See more by this author. Los Angeles Auto Show, Auto Shows Car News, Photo, Authors, J. Ramey, Concept Vehicles, Production Vehicles, Events, Green Cars, Luxury, Other News, Rumor Mill.